Okay, and now let's take a look at our second example where we will change the value of use ref. And we're gonna start just like the first one, where essentially I wanna create a value with use ref. And in this case, I'm gonna call is mounted and I'll set it equal to use ref. And just like before, I wanna provide some kind of default value. And in my case, I'm gonna go with false again. I probably don't need to say that now is mounted essentially is an object in there. There's a current property and that one is equal to a false. Now I also probably don't need to remind you that if I have here a use effect and if I add here dependency array, and if I provide here a value, basically the state value over here, every time I'll click on a button, guess what? Essentially, functionality inside of this use effect is going to run, correct? So let's kill two birds at the same time. I'm gonna go with is mounted and let's save. And notice pretty much every time I'll click, I'll have this current is equal to false. And once we have established this, why don't we talk about a very specific use case? What if I don't wanna run certain functionality after initial render? So I do want to run it after that every time the value changes, but not on the initial render. Again, this is not probably something that you're going to use in every project, but here and there, this is a nifty solution where essentially you can just avoid running some functionality after that initial render. And the way we do that, we essentially check this value. And if this one is false, we set it equal to true. And then after that, every time this value changes, this is equal already to true. And then the functionality is going to run. Now one gotcha though, don't check is mounted because this will always be an object. So this will be true. We need to check for the current property. And if you're someone, if you're on that, let me showcase what I'm talking about. So inside of the use effect, first of all, I think I'm going to remove this one. I can set up the if condition and I can say, if is mounted current is false, then don't run, basically return from the use effect. So in here I can say is mounted and current. Again, don't check for is mounted because it is an object. So essentially it's going to be true. I'm checking for the current property, which in the beginning is false. And if that's the case, then I want to go with is mounted. So notice now I'm actually changing that value myself. I'll set it equal to true, and then I'm going to return. So true, and then I return. And after that if condition, I actually want to set up that functionality. Now again, in my case, that functionality is simply going to be log and then re-render like so. But let's take a look, what is the result? So notice I refresh, and there's nothing in the console. And I'll only see something in the console once actually I'm changing this value. So essentially what we're doing, we're avoiding to run whatever functionality after initial render. Again, not something that you'll do in every project, but once in a while you might hit this use case. And lastly, I just wanna showcase how we can set up nice focus around our input. And since we're not triggering re-render, we won't have this infinite loop. So I have rest container, which essentially is pointing to my input, correct? So I can set up a use effect. Instead of the use effect, I'm going to pass in the function. And then since I know that I'm accessing container, then current, so that's my input. In vanilla.js, we also have this focus. We just invoke it. Again, this is not reacting, this is vanilla.js and check it out, basically the moment I'll refresh, I'll have this focus around the input. And what's really cool, that since use ref does not trigger re-render, essentially you won't have this infinite loop like you would if, for example, you would be using use effect without the dependency array and then updating the state value. Hopefully that is clear, and we can move on to the next topic.